Hey guys, in this video we are going to look at indices. We're going to do some easy questions, some medium questions and then some hard questions. Indices can seem really confusing because what they say isn't necessarily what they mean. For example, if we have multiplication, that really means addition. So x squared times x to 3 means we need to add 2 plus 3 giving us x to the 5. Division really means subtraction. So if you have x to the 4 divided by x to the 2, that really means 4 minus 2, giving us x to the 2. Minus really means a fraction. So x to the power of minus 2 is really 1 over x to the power of 2, and fractions mean really do the opposite. So x to the power of a half is do the opposite of x squared, it is the square root of x. First of all we need to simplify x to the 5 times x to the 3. We need to add the 5 plus the 3, giving us 8, meaning our answer is x to the 8. Now we need to divide e to the 12, divided by e to the 4, so that is 12 minus 4, giving us 8. Our answer is e to the 8. Slightly more complicated now, when we have something cubed, that is like saying e uh, squared times e squared times e squared three times. So that is 2 plus 2 plus 2, giving us e to the 6. Write 5 to the minus 2 as a fraction. Minuses really mean 1 over, so that is 1 over 5 squared, 1 over 25. Simplify x to 7 divided by 1 over x squared. So 1 over x squared is really x to the minus 2. So we have x to the 7 divided by x to the minus 2. Divided means minus, so we need to do 7 minus minus 2, giving us x to the 9. Evaluate x to the power of half. Now when we have 1 over 2, that means do the opposite of something squared. So we need to square root it. So we have 100 square rooted, square root of 100 is 10. Hard ones now. Evaluate 125 to the power of minus 1 over 3. The minus means we need to turn into a fraction, so 1 over. 1 over 125 to a third. The third means do a cubed root. So we have 1 over the cubed root of 125. The cubed root of 125 is 5. Express x times the cubed root of x as a power of x. The cubed root of x can be written as x to a third. x itself can be rewritten as x to the power of 3 over 3 or x to the 1. Now we have x to the power of 3 over 3 times x to the power of 1 over 3. We need to add these up, giving us x to the power of 4 over 3. Write 27 over 81 as a power of 3. 27 can be rewritten as 3 to the power of 3. 81 can be rewritten as 3 to the power of 4. Now we have 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 4, or minusing them. So 3 to 3 minus 3 to the 4, 3 minus 4 equals minus 1, giving us 3 to the power of minus 1. 